Sublime Real Estate Company, your reliable partner on the market. We make dreams come true. I'm Realtor Sam and I will find a perfect home for you. Calm down, stop yelling, I'll take care of everything! Uh, please, You're I'm right. not guilty! You promised us three homes! What is this? I don't get it. Why you never keep your promises? And I don't get why the dolls are outraged. I found them a lovely cardboard house. What else do they want? He calls this home impossible. Well, I guess I have to bail you out one more time. And I'm so ready to help. Hi, everyone. As you already know, Sam is no good as a real estate agent. Hey, why are you calling me? Let's see what kind of builder he will turn out to be. <laughs> Actually, I come from the most famous dynasty of builders in Tibidaba. Do you know? How interesting. We've built so many houses, but for some reason, I've never heard about that before. Let's go here. It's all because I'm very modest. Ew. Didn't mean to brag, you know. But another thing I learned about you today, Sammy. <laughs> now it's time for a little trick. One, two, three, four, voila! Um, Sue the Crafter, is that you? Yes. There's a letter for you from a certain slick swan. Here, take it, please. Hmm, I wonder what it could be. <gasps> wow, these are the missing textures. Uh-huh, skillfully carved by me. And it's quite noticeable, Sammy. There's so much pink in here. <laughs> Well, since this is Sam's house, it should be visible from afar! Sam's house? Actually, I also participate in this grand construction. Oh, that's right! Then you can choose the interior decor! Oh, really? <laughs> well, this is to my liking. Let's go! Well, Sammy, what do you say? Will the dolls like this interior design? Oh, down, I got this! Uh, Sue, something else came up! What are you... Ouch! Wow, what's this for? Well, it turns out that I also promised to furnish the house. But don't worry, I have prepared the pieces. Did you know, huh? Well, you're in luck because I love working with mini furniture. Let's make the edges of this piece neater. Like this. Great. By the way, you also could do at least something. And I'm doing! Come on, don't get distracted. You will see. Oh, how mysterious. <laughs> well, the mattress is in its place. And our bed matches perfectly the color of the walls. You know that I have many alter egos, right? This is the gift from Sam the Seamstress. Whoa, Sammy, these are so pretty. Right, fellows? If you agree, give a thumbs up. And you were worried that I was a bum. Well, our nice bathroom can't do without a dressing table. Let's put it right here. Looks great. What else can your alter egos make? <laughs> here, look. Sammy the Carpenter has done his best with his spacious closet. It's amazing. But Carpenter Sue wants to add a little extra. Well, now everything will fit in here. <laughs> To me, kitchen is the most cozy place in any house. Let's make it functional. Put together the pieces of the oven door with a wire. And it will be able to open and close. Oh, you can only Sue. You're an engineering genius. And why is there so much surprise in your voice? By the same principle, we'll make a cabinet door. Everything is simple. I understand that this piece of furniture is angular for a reason. Yes, there will be a sink here. As soon as I figure out how to install it. Have you called a plumber? Ha <laughs> I'll do everything for you in no time. Ah-ah! Uh -uh. And the work is done, miss. <laughs> oh, you and I are just a dream team. Check out how I neatly installed the cooker. Let's finish this piece of furniture with a nice decor. I think we did great. The main thing here is to take all the measurements correctly. And this rack with shelves will look awesome on this wall. Oh, how many sweets can be stored there? Um, look out, Susie! I'm on my way! Oh, that's lovely! And the table can be put here, for example. We almost forgot about, about the refrigerator. refrigerator! That's right, without that there can be no kitchen! Here we go. Well, I think we did really well. Now we need to finish putting up the walls here. 
and of course from this side as well. And here's the banister. Safety's above all, you know. Give a thumbs up if you agree. And why is this garage left without a door? That's better. Now we're talking very handy. Oh, do you hear this? <gasps> this must be our roof. Let me help. <laughs> Susan, there will be one more roof. Got it. Just a little more, and everything is securely in place. Excellent. Mission accomplished. <laughs> now that's a completely different look. I will add only one detail, huh? I can see how the tenants will drink coffee here in the morning and tea in the evening. Speaking of tenants, Susie, I can't understand. How will the dolls get to the top? By ear or something? Of course not. I'll show you something. We have never made such a letter before. This is the very first step. We'll do the rest of them just like this one. And each step will be different colors. Now I'll just make a neat edge. It turned out just perfect. Not really, Susie. Perfect is when it's like this. Huh? What? Wow, great move, Sammy. This is cool. Am I right, friends? Come on, people. Let's count how many steps there will be. <laughs> <laughs> I got 11. What about you? Ouch! All right. The steps can do without the perfect banister. Let's use some magic. And a finishing touch. Hey, make way! A staircase worthy of the best dolls. It's time to invite them to their new home. Stay tuned, everybody. Please come here, ladies. Send the reorder. Always keeps his word. We'll see about that. Where's the house? Are you ready? Susan, open it up. Fall up. <gasps> Whoa, Whoa! Check, check this, this out. out. Wow. What a great balcony. And I always wanted a canopy like this! Oh, oh thank, thank you, Mr. Realtor. Realtor! We'll tell our friends to come only to you! Would you like a photo to remember the very first day in your new home? With pleasure! Oh, what, what a, a great, great idea. idea! Stand closer, and now let's say slick slime! Bip bip! Watch out! Reverse motion! Be careful! I'm parking! Perfect! Wow, what a heavy basket! I have to be careful on the stairs! Hop, hop, hop! Oh, I just love all these colors! And the banister is just stunning! And the last step! So I should start with the kitchen! Let's see what we have here! A saucepan! It belongs right here on the stove! And here comes another one! And this is a place for kitchen utensils! On the rack, we will place plates and bowls! Oh, how great it turns out! Moving always makes me hungry! Hmm, I should cook something! Oh, so far the refrigerator is completely empty! But a quick run to the store will fix things easily! Now let's quickly cook a delicious vegetable stew! Huh? Ah, oh, smells amazing! Well, well, what have we here? So many beautiful outfits! Let's find a place for them! So that this beautiful dress does not wrinkle, let's carefully hang it on a hanger! Now we'll put it right here! Excellent! How nice to have such a spacious closet! Everything fits here, and even more! This should be right in the drawer! Hop! And hop! <gasps> the view from up here is simply magnificent! But the balcony is kind of empty! Hmm, a potted plant will fix that! Let's add some water! <gasps> wow, that's what happens when a balcony is on the sunny side! Applying makeup here in front of the mirror every morning is a mere pleasure! Hmm, this wall is clearly lacking of cozy decor! <laughs> the most favorite photos of just beautiful pictures will do! Let's hang him a little asymmetrically! To me, it's the best! Wow, what a comfortable bed with a soft mattress! Oh, I feel like taking a nap! I haven't had time to see everything yet! What a wonderful mini garden! What else is needed for happiness? Oh, it's good to be home! I think we did great! Do you agree? Then how about a little room tour? <laughs> Let's go!
Are you ready for an arty party? We're in the party pile! It's the perfect place for a party! So, let's get arty! It's the Mini Makers! Hello, Mini Makers! Now, my friends, are you feeling arty? Yeah! Then let's party! Going to have a party and look who I've invited the shakes and scraps. He's so excited, all the mini makers are partying too. But most importantly, we invite you. Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one, let's go! Let's get party, everybody party. It's great to see you, my friend. Yeah. Now, what shall we make our party about today? Um, mm. You ever think about it? Have you got any ideas? <laughs> Over you come, Mini Makers. Come on, my friends. That's it. Have a look at the screen. Now, we're going to show you some clues. See if you can guess what our party is going to be about today. Yeah. What can you see? Sunglasses. Some sunglasses. What's that? <laughs> What colour is the bike? Blue! <laughs> the bunny And I'll give you one last clue, Mini Makers. <laughs> What's this, everyone? Blue pencil! That's right, it's a blue pencil, and we might need that later, because today our party's going to be a blue party! Yeah! <laughs> oh, Scraps, are you not getting dressed up today? Wow, what beautiful blue blooms. Scraps, you look very pretty. <laughs> Yay! So, everyone, let's think brilliant blue thoughts and make an arty party picture. What should we use today? Paper. We could use paper. Shapes. Very good, Mohammed. How are we going to make the paper into shapes? Tear it. We could tear it. Very good. How are we going to stick all of these paper pieces onto our picture? Blue! Blue! Now, my friends, what sort of things do you know that are blue? Sky! The sky? And what else is blue? The sea! Fantastic, Mini Makers. Some wonderful ideas there. In fact, you've just given me a brilliant idea. Let's get Artie at our party and set sail on the waves to make your own paper boat sailing on a torn paper blue sea. But first, we'll need some things from... The Tea That's right! We'll need some scraps of blue wrapping paper. Coloured card paper and a glue stick. A pair of blue suede shoes. No doodle tube. We don't need these, although they would go nicely with my outfit. No. And we'll also need some scissors, a lolly stick and a pen. All right then, Mini Makers, let's get started. Now, first thing to do is to bring in some background paper or card. And, of course, this is a blue party, so what colour should it be? Blue! That's right, it's blue. First, we're going to make a nice blue sea by tearing this blue patterned paper into a wavy shape. You don't have to be neat with this, Mini Makers. There, we've got one wavy shape, and you can make as many as you like. We've got lots and lots of them here, with all different types of blue patterned paper. Let's start sticking them down to make the sea. And you can even add a fluffy white cloud, 
using torn white paper. We've got a beautiful blue sky, a wavy blue sea, and now we need something to sail in the sea. What should we make? A boat! That's right, a boat! So, let's take some yellow card and start drawing a boat. And now I'm going to cut this out, but I must be careful because scissors are... Sharp! That's right! Ah, oh, lovely. There. Now we can stick our boat into the wavy sea. Next, we're going to stick down some other paper shapes and a clean lolly stick to finish off our boat. Two paper sails and a paper flag. There, a flag fluttering on our boat on a beautiful blue sea. Do you like it? Yeah! <laughs> well, I'm glad you like this picture because now it's your turn to make your very own arty party picture. But first, you need to put on your... Arty apron! Yeah! It's time to start the art! <laughs> now, Christiana has made a wonderful wavy sea picture but what's this here in the sea? It's a whale. I've drawn the fins on the tail and then water sprouting out from the top. There's water spouting out of the top. It's having a whale of a time. Well done, Christiana. You keep making because I wonder, has anyone ever had any arty blue ideas? Let's find out. In ancient times, there was one colour that was impossible to make. And that was the colour blue. How am I ever going to make the colour of the sky if we can't make the colour blue? Then one day, someone came up with a brilliant idea. <gasps> That's it! Woad! It was discovered that woad, which is an ancient plant related to cauliflower, could be used to dye material the colour blue. Unfortunately, it was a very stinky process. It was so stinky that Queen Elizabeth I banned it from being made near her palace. Not in my backyard! The reason it smelled so bad is because once they were picked, the woad leaves were often covered in human urine, or wee, which made the woad turn blue. Seriously, don't ask me how I discovered that. The material was then soaked in the stinky mixture and then taken out and left in the fresh air to dry. I don't know about a plant. More like a weed. <laughs> <laughs> now, the good news is that blue dye hasn't been made like that for years. So the next time you get cauliflower for dinner, don't go getting any funny ideas. <laughs> now let's see how the mini makers are getting on. <laughs> Charlotte, I love your picture. What have you put in it? Well, this is a sun. And is this a dolphin? Yeah, it's a sparkly dolphin. And I did some water drops. So it looks like it's jumped out the water. It looks brilliant. Well done, Charlotte. What a great picture. <laughs> Teddy has made a brilliant blue sea with a boat, but also some other things as well. What have we got here, Teddy? I've got a big shark and I've got a jellyfish floating up the top. And I've also got a bright sun. And I like the bright sun because the rays have been made with small pieces of straws. Teddy, you get a high five. 
Ehud has gone under the sea for his shiny picture. And what's this, my friend? It's the submarine. What's that in the corner? It's the octopus tangled up in the seaweed. Oh, no, he's all tangled up. Well, it looks brilliant. And I can hear snoring. It sounds like someone's asleep at our party. Who is it, Mini Makers? That's right, it's the shapes, and I think we should wake them up. So after three, ready? One, two, three! Spin around, spin around, in a circle on the ground. I am a triangle. Clap your hands in the air, triangles everywhere. I am a square. Everybody draw a square, draw it here, draw it there. Everybody draw a square. I am a rectangle. Bounce everybody, bounce like you just don't care. What's it going to be? Wait and we will see a shape for you and me. I am a circle. Yay! What picture is circle making? Can you guess? That's right. It's a dolphin. That was fantastic, Circle. It's time to get back on the shelf. Yay! <laughs> oh, oh, look! It's Grab surprise party popper. <laughs> To make a button bluebird pencil topper like this, take an old blue button and tape feathers onto the back of it. Tape a pipe cleaner to the back of the button. Now turn the button over and use stickers or paper shapes for eyes and a beak. Then wind the pipe cleaner around a pencil like this. And your button bluebird pencil topper is finished and ready to use. Well done, Scraps. What a terrific idea. And you can make any sort of blue button pencil topper you like. <laughs> Megan, what did you make using blue buttons? I made a helicopter. A helicopter, and it looks really, really good. And what's on top of the helicopter? Pipe cleaners. Pipe cleaners. Mohammed, what have you made using a blue button? I made a bunny. He's got, like, really big ears so we can hear really properly. What a brilliant blue bunny with big ears, just like me. Leon, I love your octopus. How did you make all of the legs? By pipe cleaners. Ah, oh, what a great idea. And what's your octopus's name? Craig. Craig! Craig the octopus. Well, he looks brilliant. And how many legs has your octopus got? Eight. Of course, eight! That's right. Well done, Mini Makers. Some great button creations. And now, follow me. This way! Come on, everyone! <laughs> That's it. Over here, you are about to make a brilliant party picture. Have a look at the screen and see if you can guess what it is. What picture are today's Mini Makers making? <laughs> Any ideas? <laughs> what do you think it could be?
That's right, you made a picture of a brilliant teapot. Well done, Mini Makers. <laughs> oh, you know what that noise means? It's time for... <laughs> to party cam to find out which mini makers are playing today. Off you go. It's Billy! Yay! Who's next? Let's find out. It's Holly! Yay! And last but not least, off you go. It's Liam! Yay! Well done, my friends. You've been chosen for a very special arty challenge. Yay! Mini Makers, it's time for a deep sea adventure. We are going whale spotting, and you've got to find a whale swimming in the deep blue sea like this one here. And you're going to look for the whale on this big piece of paper. Mini Makers, you're going to use all of this blue paint, your special brushes and your arty party suits. Now, Millie, Holly and Liam, do you think you can do it? Yes! I think so too, but you've got to be quick. You must find your whale before Scraps makes this noise. <laughs> Ooh, ready, steady, <laughs> go! Off you go, Mini Makers. That's it. Get lots of paint on those brushes. I'm starting to see something. Look, Millie, you found an eye. I can see a tail over there. You're doing very well. Let's fill in all these gaps. Do you think they're going to do it, Mini Makers? Scraps, time's up. Put your brushes down. Well done, Mini Makers. Yay! Let's have a look at your picture. Wow, what a wonderful whale in a big blue sea. Ooh. Well done, Mini Makers. But now it's time to tidy up. You get started and I'll come and help you in a minute. We've had a great arty party today. <laughs> We've had lots of brilliant fun at our party, making torn paper pictures, and blue button pencil toppers. We've learned how a plant was once used to make the colour blue. And we went whale spotting in the deep blue sea. We've been arty at our arty party. Are you ready? Your fun's just begun! Yes! Yes, that's right. Our party's over. But your arty fun is just beginning. It's time to put the party pad back in its box. See you soon. Bye! Hello, it's Mr Maker here at home and we've been spending a lot more time at home recently which has given me the chance to get lots of housework done. Yes, my spotty waistcoat collection won't iron itself you know. It's also given me plenty of time to keep in touch with my CBB's friends and I'm going to give one of them a call right now. Hello, Dodge, how are you? Mr. Maker, hi! Oh, I'm okay, thanks. Hey, um, where's your bow tie? My bow tie? No, Dodge, I don't wear a bow tie. That's Mr. Tumble. Oh, yes, <laughs> Mr. Tumble. <laughs> I've got my nice spotty waistcoat, though. Oh, I know, I know. Get something exciting out of your famous spotty bag. A spotty bag? No, Dodge, again, I'm sorry, that's Mr. Tumble. Mr. Tumble has a spotty bag. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've got my doodle drawers, though. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you. Wait, what? Anyway, it's nice to see your friendly face. <laughs> Thanks, Dodge. Oh, and guess what? What? My arty idea today is all about my face. Would you like to see it? Your face? <laughs> I can see it right now. No, I mean, would you like to see my idea? It's all about my face. Oh, yes, please. 
please, Mr. Tumble. Maker. Maker, maker. Sorry. <laughs> I'd, um, I, I'd love that, Mr. Um, uh, maker. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to make a self-portrait, a picture of my face, and I'm going to do it on this big circle using lots of unusual materials that I found around my home. That's a great idea. Oh, thanks, Dodge. <laughs> now, Mini Makers, I can move these materials around the big circle and stick them in place so it's easy for you to see how I build my picture. But if you'd like to try this, keep watching. I'll give you tips on how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Ready! Brilliant! Let's make it! Your nose is a little bit bigger in real life, but that works. <laughs> what do you think about that, Dodge? Ah, that's a lovely smile. Oh, thanks, Dodge. Now some ears. <laughs> Perfect. What's left, Dodge? Um, you need some eyebrows, Mr. Maker. Of course, eyebrows. <laughs> we are finished. What do you think, Dodge? <laughs> oh, I love it. Ooh, and look, Mr. Maker, I just made a portrait of you, too. <laughs> when did you paint that? All right. Mwah. Love you. Bye. <laughs> love you, too. Bye, Dodge. <laughs> Mini Makers, why don't you try making a funny picture of your face today? Ask a grown-up to help you. Find your materials, but don't stick them up on the wall. Why don't you try placing them on the floor? Build your picture and make it as silly as you like. Even sillier than mine. Although I have to say, I think I look as pretty as a picture. Oh, it's been a lovely day so far, and I'm really glad that you stopped by. <laughs> what? What's that noise? Can you hear that? It sounds like snoring, and it's, it's coming from upstairs. I know who it is. It's the shapes. Yes, look, it's the shapes. Circle, triangle, square, and rectangle, all snoring away. With the shapes still asleep, it means no shape dance today, and no singing to I am a shape. <laughs> it's a real shame, but... I suppose the only way we could do those things is if I put on shape costumes and did the dance myself. <laughs> but I can't do that! <laughs> Can I? One, two, a one, two, three, four. I am the shape. square using simple materials. First, ask a grown-up to help you find and reuse a small box made of card. This one has a square shape on top. Paint it any colour you like. I'm choosing blue for square. Your grown-up will also need to help you find and clean some plastic items to reuse. These blue bottle tops will be feet. When the paint is dry on your box, you can glue on your two feet and two googly eyes. You could always use round stickers instead. Use a pen to carefully draw a big smile. And your new best friend, Square, is ready! I am a Square! Thank you for coming to visit me here at home today. We've had a great time. We caught up with Dodge the Dog, I made a self-portrait, and I got into shape at home. Keep watching CBBS for more arty ideas. And remember, your home is where the art is. Take care and I'll see you soon.